In this video, we'll give you a full overview of the layout, features, and controls of the WeDJ app when it's connected to your DDJ200. Once your DDJ200 is connected, the WeDJ interface should look like this. At the top of the interface, to the far left of the WeDJ logo, you'll see the View Mode icon, which allows you to switch between the two waveform views and jog view. When the view mode is set to display horizontal waveforms, the uppermost waveform is from deck 1, and the lower waveform is from deck 2. Phrase information is displayed between the two waveforms. The thin lines displayed across the waveforms represent the beat grid, splitting the tracks into individual beats with a downbeat represented by a red triangle. You can set the view mode to display vertical waveforms. Again, phrase information is displayed between the waveforms, just like before. Beat grid information is indicated by lines across the waveforms. Jog view displays two circular jog wheels, one for each deck, with track artwork at the center. These pulse in time to the tempo of the music and a marker at the edge of the jog wheel allows you to more accurately manipulate the tracks. As you can see, when the jog wheels are manipulated, the marker moves in sync. Next to this is the auto mix icon, which enables you to start auto mix and access various auto mix options. Next is the record button, which you can use to capture your mixes. In the top right corner of WeDJ, you have the DDJ200 connection icon. This icon appears once you've established a Bluetooth connection with your DDJ200. At the top of the interface, to the right of the WeDJ logo, you have the settings cog icon. Tapping this gives you access to the WeDJ settings menu and various sub-menus allowing you to customize the WeDJ app. Tapping the question mark opens the pop hint display, which provides helpful hints and information about all the different parts of the WeDJ interface. Directly below the WeDJ logo is the Phrase Sync button. Tapping this activates Phrase Sync. To the left and right of the Phrase Sync button are the level meters for each deck, which display the volume of each track that's playing. On each side of the interface, you have the track loading and track information displays. Tapping these areas allows you to load tracks onto each deck and display their title and timing information. Each deck also has a BPM indicator and a performance panel, as well as slip mode and color FX button. At the bottom of the Wii DJ interface, you can access the pad modes for each deck. When switching between the different pad modes, tapping each pad mode twice in the Wii DJ interface will bring up the options for each one. In the center is the Transition FX button. When activated, Transition FX help you with mixing by using pre-assigned audio effects that sync with your movements of the crossfader. Many of the features mentioned in this video can be directly controlled from your DDJ200 controller. 